Let's say we want full control over where the legend is placed in our plot. Again, if you're not comfortable with the plt.subplots function and what fig and x means, go back to that video, watch that first, and then come back. So we have our graph, and I put on a basic legend with plt.legend. And let's say we want to switch the position to our center. So we will use the box to anchor and then give it two coordinates. So the first one will be the x coordinate and the second one the y coordinate. Today we'll use the two coordinates option because it's a little easier and it works for most people. There's also a four coordinates but we'll cover that in another video that comes in the future. So let's see what we did. And as you can see, the legend moved a little bit to the right and the top. And as I said, we wanted to set it on the center, but as we can see, it's not really into center. That is because the ebox function or term or parameter uh, creates a reference point on where the legend is placed and the default is set to lower left corner so as you can see the lower left corner here is placed in the middle if we want the whole legend in the middle we'll just type lock center and now it is placed into center and from there on it's basically just typing in different locations so we'll try our x coordinate to 0 0.75 and as you can see it goes a little bit to the right if we type in one you can see it is exactly on the edge of the graph so this uses the axis as a reference point so the inside so if you want to go out we can do that by say 1.25 and now it is placed outside. This might be a little much. This might be a little less. But as you can see, just try out how you would like it. And this is it. I hope this helped. See you next time.